This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 2nd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had two M flares thus far today. We started the day right around 3 UTC time with an M1 solar flare. We have just had an M2.77 solar flare. And both of these flares are coming from relatively new sunspot groups. Taking a look at spaceweatherlive.com, we see that we have a 65% chance of having an M flare today, or expected more activity than we've seen. We just had the M2.77, and earlier in the day, it looks like at 207 here, we had an M1 that lasted well, just under 15 minutes. That came from Sunspot Group AR3663, which is Alpha, Beta, Gamma, fairly complex, as indicated by it being in orange. Now, we've just had an M2.77 solar flare, and that came from Sunspot Group AR3664. As we see, much activity has been coming from that sunspot. Now, it's not very complex, but it just did produce an M2.77 solar flare, Earth-directed. We're still running a C baseline. It's a C1.27 currently, with a 15% chance of an X flare today. Over to HMI Intensigram, I'm going to show you the only two sunspot groups that have been active today. That would be AR3663 up here. Fairly complex, and then just recently we got the 2.77 M class solar flare from AR3664 that looks like it's becoming more complex as it becomes Earth facing. Heading over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager 195 Angstroms, although NOAA has not indicated which sunspot group the 2.77 came from, we can see it occur right here just as we indicated and that's going to be sunspot group again AR3664 this is AR3663 which has also been active today headed over to our D region absorption prediction center we see the M2.77 solar flare popped off over the Pacific Ocean but might have also affected California I say that because YouTube videos are not processing. And that's for everyone right now. But this might not come in timely, but this just occurred at 2058 UTC time. Again, today, May 2nd, 2024. With that said, everyone's getting their fair share and dose of radiation all day long. That's just the big event of the day. Now, I think everyone knows, if you've seen my previous video today, we're in a very strong geomagnetic storm, a G3 geomagnetic storm. I thought it was going to dwindle off, but we've seen thus far six hours of a G3 geomagnetic storm that was completely unpredicted. They said that two CMEs struck our planet, one right after the other, pushing the geomagnetic storm up to a G3, where it currently stands. Imagine two coronal mass ejection impacts that were completely unpredicted by NOAA, NASA, or the EESA, popping us hard today, bringing us into six hours of a G3 geomagnetic storm. With that said, please share our video, please subscribe if you haven't, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.